So it begins. G'day folks, and welcome back to the channel for episode number 17 of my Acid Retaliation Sentinel playthrough. And it's time to start farming Perdition. But, before we get to that, uh, at the end of the last episode, when I did that last Devotion Shrine, I turned the loot off, and there was two little blue stars on the map that I didn't show in the actual video. Um, I can't remember what the second item was. One of them was a Falcon's Claw. The other one was some other blue item that was not useful for the build. Um, and I have since sold both of those, but I just thought I'd point it out. Uh, I haven't seen the comments from episode 16 at the time of recording. It's currently 21% through uploading. Um, but I imagine someone is going to pick up on that and mention it. So Falcon's Claw and I think it was a pair of boots, but anyway. It was some sort of blue item that's not good for us. So, as I mentioned, we're going to start farming the Empowered Perdition set today. 62 should be enough for it to be droppable from pretty much every totem that is still scaling with us. Uh, so that means more Blood Grove. Uh, but it doesn't have to be Blood Grove. It can be pretty much anything past, um, past here-ish. Anything up here. You can do, uh, you could in fact go and do Gloomwald runs, which is also something that I will probably do. Um, we could go into the Eldritch Gate and just hunt gargoyles. That is a good way to get a decent belt. I will probably do some of that as well. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's just farming at this point. There is one more thing I want to do before we get started on that though, and that is to get a few more devotion points. Um, there are three that are relatively easy to get. There's 49 in total that are available in normal. So there are in fact six remaining. Uh, there's one from the Rover's Honored quest. I'm not doing that one. It's a bit long. There's one in the Tomb of the Heretic. I'm not going to do that one either. Actually, I probably I might do that one. We've already unlocked it, so that one's doable. There's one in the Tomb of Nephos, which I walked past for some reason. I don't know why I didn't get that one. There's another one in the Sunward Spire, which is also quite easy to get. Um, there's one in the Shattered Realm, which I'm not going to get. And where's the other one? I've forgotten one. Anyway, there's 49 in normal. I'm going to end up with 45 or 46. So that'll be fine. All right, let's get on with it. Um, so first things first, we want to go to... Probably Corvin City and run backwards. It's probably the easiest way. Uh, the Tomb of Nephos is like here. And all I need to do is just poke my head in, grab the uh, grab the Devotion Shrine and just leave. That's it. Dead simple. So here it is. Uh, may as well grab this as well. And of course I have to. There we go. Everybody's nice and dead. The extra points in, or uh, well, not the extra points, but uh, unlocking Blood of Dreeg is really good for the extra damage. So pretty happy about that. Um, this little room, or this little place here, very um, kind of related to the Dreeg faction quests. So there is a room that we won't be able to get into. Unless you're on the Dreeg quest, uh, you will not be able to get into this room up ahead. But... Um, this here has got some, you know, some hidden loot. Um, and this is just kind of a secret, which I'm doing air quotes for that you can't see. Uh, but this is a secret way to get to this devotion shrine. You could just walk around the normal way, it's no big deal. Alright, here we go. So there's another point, another devotion point. Um, there is a treasure trove in here somewhere. Um, I know one of the spawn locations for it is in that little secret area. I don't remember where the other ones are, so if I find it, great. Oh, there's the Exalted Stash. Maybe it was an Exalted Stash. Eldritch Essence? Yes. Uh, this is the the Dreg quest area, so you won't be able to go in there, but uh, we got what we came for. Hooray! <laughs> I'm actually super happy to see that. Alright, uh, a couple of law notes as well. Very good. Okay, so Tomb of Nephos done. Tomb of the Heretic. I guess we can go ahead and do that one as well. This is similar to all of the other, um, I guess we call them skeleton key dungeons. 
uh, where you don't actually have to go inside. You don't have to pay the skeleton key price to open the door because what we are what we're going into is just kind of the entry area. Uh, the entry area does, I believe, have a treasure trove. There is a... Um, well, the Devotion Shrine is the reason we're going there. Um, but there's also an Exalted Stash as well. So we can just basically beeline for the back. Uh, but there's, I mean, decent things to kill in here as well. I'm looking out for the treasure trove. Uh, I used to run this place all the time. It's been a while though, so I'm probably going to miss the um, miss the treasure trove. But I'm not too fussed about that. Treasure troves are definitely a good source of, well, eldritch essence. Um, oh, here we go. Didn't miss it. <laughs> eldritch essence, please. Marauder's ammo belt and nope. I think you. I think I got that instead of the rare crafting component. But that's, um, that's one of the two things I was hoping to get when I came in here. Just the, uh, the treasure trove and, uh, this devotion shrine. So, pretty happy to have gotten that. We are going to be, of course, collecting, uh, greens just to sell them. There we go, what do we get? The Scion of Noxious Wounds. Yeah, we're not going to be using that, but uh, hey, purple item to blow up. Need some more scrap, right? All right, so there's an uh, the Scion of Noxious Wounds there. Plus one to Necromancer, plus two to Avenging Shield. That's actually not horrible. Um, I definitely... Hmm. Oh, that's the fire to Acid, yeah. Yeah, we definitely need the uh, Ravenous Claw, but... This would be, I guess, okay. It's definitely not horrible. Plus two to a skill we're using. I mean, plus two to Avenging Shield is more bounces. I'm guessing when you get this to 22 of 12, it gives you the sixth target, um, but that's fine. All right, a little bit of extra retaliation. I guess we'll finish that off. That's a huge increase in retaliation and also some extra armor. Next up on the uh, Devotions is going to be Aladra's Phoenix. This does have some um, just generically good stuff, decent amount of health, but it does also have, again, another huge pile of fire retaliation. Um, there's a little bit more <laughs> excuse me, retaliation. And then this here, with the damage absorption, is another thing that's going to be really good to have. Um, right, I see that totem over there. We're going to go and get that as well. Um, and this build is, is going to be very, very tanky. Um, but not a huge amount of healing behind the tank, if that makes sense. Um, the healing behind the tank is going to be coming from the, the lifesteal and from the procs. So we've got of the grove, we've got juggernaut, and we've got lifesteal. And that's kind of the plan. Okay, uh, so the other one I wanted to get was in the Tomb of Nephos, which is out here in the Sunbane Oasis. So let's head back that way. That'll get us one point into Phoenix. And then, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just dip my toes into Elite and get some extra devotion points that way. Just finish the devotion points. I might do that before we do the farming, actually. So, I know I said at the start of this video that this was going to be a farming video. It may just be an Elite Act 1 video instead. We'll see. Alright, here we go. Everybody gets a frisbee, and down they all go. So, blue items. Nothing else that I want. Death Omen, nice purple there. Um... Yeah, I think I think I want to get the uh, the devotions done. The more I think about it, the more I like that idea. All right, we can just run past all this stuff and throw some frisbees at them. But here we go into the. I think this is the tomb of Nephos. No, this is the Sunward Spire. No, this is the Sanctuary of Haran. Okay, names are hard. <laughs> 
But anyway, there is definitely a devotion shrine in here. Okay, there we go. Pick up the greens. Come up here, pop this. And now we can just clear this area out. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. Lovely. Well, not quite everybody. Alright, Scorch Rune, Anchorite's Headgear, Ruby of Elemental Damage, a Balance rather. All this stuff is really good for just other builds, which is fine, but we're not playing other builds. Let's clear a few of these out before we uh, pop this Devotion Shrine. This one often will have uh, Gargoyles, so it's kind of good in that respect. Yeah, here we go. Golgant the Burning. Give me a nice belt. Uh, well, Shrewd of Readiness. It is It is technically a belt. Runeforge, Virulent more, so not really what I'm after. Uh, we did pick up a Devotion Point though, so we can start in the Phoenix here. The next two points are really good. Um, let me just double check here. I've got the... Um, Shrine checklist. The Valley of the Chosen, uh, that is the tomb of, or sorry, the uh, the tomb of the heretic we already got. So that one's done. The yeah, the, the tomb of Nephos, we've got that one as well. The Sanctuary of Haran is this one. Uh, Shattered Realm, I'm skipping. That just leaves Mogdrogon Shrine and Temple of the Three. Yeah, so. All right, let's exit to menu. And I'm going to do something really weird here. I don't do this very often. We're going to jump into Elite. All right. For Elite, uh, Aether Shard. Aether Shard, kill stuff, Aether Shard. That's a lot of shards. Severed Claw. Okay. Act 1. We're going to do a very fast run through of Act 1. You're not looking too bad. Uh, what does it want me to do? Actually, you know what? I'll come back and and eat the conversation pie in a second. Let me just go and kill um, resistances or yeah, they're okay. Uh, let's go kill Kaizog. There we go. So many names, so little memory space. <laughs> Someone upgrade my RAM. Alright, so we're gonna kill Kaizog. Um, and basically just here for, I guess we can do the reputation stuff as well. So we'll grab Faldus, uh, spam click at the bottom of the top option there. there go. Um, do need, I don't need the Aether Shards, but you know, I'm, I'm going to try to get them. You know me. It's, it's a thing. It's going to happen. There we go. One more. Nope, we're done. Alright, in we go. So I'm going to kill Kaizog. I'm going to get the Devotion Shrines. The entire reason for me being in uh, Elite is those Devotion Shrines. So I'm only going to kill what I need to in order to get the Devotion Shrines. And I guess we'll pick stuff up as well. At least some of it. Okay. Grab those, we're done here, so we can head on out. A couple more. A couple more of these bad boys. Done, right. Three zombies for the quests. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to bother. I know this one's kind of right here, and the other ones are not that far out of the way, but don't actually need to do them. I don't really want to be an elite. Um, just here for the shrines. Don't need slith for the, uh, the primal rings. You know what? I don't even need to do the fight for the white mire rift. Uh, do I need to do that? Is that a quest? You know what? I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to just walk straight past that. Um, here's Milton. You know what? He's here. Why not? We can we can take care of him. Grab his amulet. 
and uh, leave the rest of that on the floor. Let's see, lovely little crystal down here. Go over here, no totem, but hey, there's a crystal. And we're going to skip that um, other zombie, the fire zombie, whose name I can't remember at the moment. We're going to skip him, go straight up here to this rift gate, and then book it to the left. Over here, into this little cave. Because there's another devotion shrine in here. Um, speaking of, let's go ahead and spend this one. So a little bit of health. A little bit of Chaos Res, that'll definitely help. Okay, Slith Necklace. It's right there. Kind of be rude not to pick it up. There we go. Devotion points. Another point into the Phoenix. That's another pile of fire retaliation. The next one is also going to be retaliation stuff. Um, really good. Uh, we don't need to be here, though. How much scrap do I have on me? Do I have enough to repair that bridge? Six, probably not. I have a feeling it's ten. I guess we should rescue the uh, yeah. the merchant. Merchant is being difficult. <laughs> He's well hidden this time. Well, not really. Just hidden in the last place. Alright, so here he is, um, from Devil's Crossing, you won't like it, but get in the rift. There we go. It's probably... I want to say it's worth going back to repair the bridge, but then I remembered there's a Devotion Shrine in the bridge, so... I think it's ten, isn't it? It's eight scrap. Okay. Even if it was forty scrap, I could still afford it, but... Then we would miss out on this Devotion Shrine, so let's just go get the Devotion Shrine. Now, I could be doing this on Ultimate. Um, the thing with the Ultimate Shrines is that they are much more expensive. I think they start out with a couple of Aether Shards similar to Elite, but... Um, they usually end up needing crafted stuff, whereas in Elite, I think the first thing you need to craft anything for is in Act 2. And that would be a Vengeful Spirit from memory. So, we'll just get through here. Uh, you look like you're made out of loot, so I'm going to kill you. Messenger of War, that's going to be our run speed. And, I mean, all the retaliation stuff too, can't forget that. Okay, here we go. So, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, uh, loot. Slime bolter. I guess. Apparently I wasn't done with that shrine either. Alright, we'll blow up the Ancient Shambler here. Kaboom. Actually kind of... A little bit worried about his... Well, that wasn't fair. A little bit worried about his uh, Sunder. Now that he's actually got attacks to back it up. But, um, yeah, it'll be fine. Alright, next point there. 80% retaliation, 10% crit. Um, retaliation can't crit, so... Don't really worry about that. But next level here, Phoenix Fire, we'll have to start actually stacking some OA. What is our crit chance, actually? About 10%. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. Um, we do have a few points into cunning, so that's one way of doing it. All right. Rescue the blacksmith? No. No, I don't think so. We're not here for the blacksmith, so he can he can stay lost. Uh, hopefully this is not blocked. Uh, yes, winner, winner, chicken dinner. In we go. Grab the Devotion Shrine and then book it straight back out the door we came in. There it is, no blue items to pick up, that's fine. I think we're going to have something like four or five Devotion Points left at this point. Yeah, five more. Four more? Don't know. Um, I don't really want that on Aegis. I think I'm going to put that on Dreg's Evil Eye. And then we'll put this one on the Aegis. There we go. So Dreg's Evil Eye. 
we'll see. There's there's the Phoenix proc. So Phoenix fire. 100% chance on crit. So we do need to crit at least somewhat. But that's going to give us some damage absorption, which you love to see. We may as well do the totem since we're in the area anyway. But yes, that's just going to make us a little bit more tanky. Once once the uh, the Phoenix Fire has been maxed out, it's going to be a couple of hundred points of absorption. And as long as your crit chance is okay, uh, it should be relatively all the time. Yes, you can. You just don't want to. All right. Steven Seagal here, I guess, since we're in the area already anyway, we can rescue him. Uh, this is not blocked, which is really nice. It means I can just run straight into Burrich. I think I do need to do this fight for the quest. So let's just get this quest done. There we go. Everybody gets a Frisbee. Well, technically there was only one, so... You know, they had to share. But that's fine. There we go. Hell Rune Carver. Yes, you can. You just don't want to. Alright, fine. We'll do it this way. I am going to go back to town at this point. Now, this is going to get me to 63 if I start turning stuff in. Uh, which I guess I'm going to have to. But let me see here. So, all of this stuff can go... I'm going to eat all those blueprints, eventually, I promise. Okay, I'm just going to sell the purples, even. Um, yeah. By the time I need that 150 scrap, it'll be absolutely raining purples and blues. And it, honestly, it already kind of is. So I'm not too worried about getting scrap. Let's eat that. Eat that one. And that one, and that one, and that one. Okay. That's a, that's a duplicate that I shouldn't have had to deal with. Okay. We'll do all this turning in nonsense. Um, there's a skill point. Uh, da, da, da. Just chuck in the bar for now. Alright, what else did we get? We've got Faldus here to talk to. You're welcome. Thanks. We've got Sybil to deal with. Thank you very much. That's 63. Two more points in Blood of Drig. We may as well grab this one as well. Uh, also, at this point, now that we have the Phoenix done, the next thing we need to do is remove a bunch of stuff. So, we are removing the Rat and also the Toad. And then from there, we are going to take the stag and uh, what's this other one called? We want the, the scarab and the stag here. So this is just armor, basically. There's some other stuff on here as well. I think there's some retaliation. Yeah, acid retaliation there. This is mm, not great, but it has colors we need. There's a little bit of retaliation stuff on here as well. Physical resist is nice. And then after this, we're going over here, and we will be, um, well, actually, right now we're taking this off, and then we'll be getting four points here. So, remove all the blue stuff. Then we come over here, and we'll be taking one, two. Which side do we want more? Don't think it really matters. <laughs> which side did I take first in the, uh, in the plan? Actually, you know what? We're going to take all the points out of the, um, all the points out of the middle as well. Farewell. So it doesn't matter. We're getting the entire thing. And then we're going to start on Obelisk of Men here. This will be our last devotion, I believe. Yep. So we want this node here for the flat armor. And then we go all the way around the top. We do not take the, uh, this one here. It would be a nice to have, but, um, there's just not enough points. So, there we go. Uh, we have, what is it, five more points we need to get. Uh, there is two, three more in Act 1. Got scrap on me? I do. Is this enough scrap? Yes, it is. How do I get care? Yep, I'll take care of the Slith for you. 
absolutely has nothing to do with the fact that there's a devotion shrine down there. I, I just want to help you guys. <laughs> Alright, so we just run through here. Again, I don't need any of this stuff. I don't particularly want XP at this point. Um, I want to get the Perdition quests, or the Perdition set, the Empowered one. It's called Absolution. I want to get that done, which means I want to stay low 60s as long as I can. So I'm not particularly interested in killing any of this stuff. If I happen to, great. Um... But that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to kill Slith. So technically, I have to kill the one at the end. Well, actually, technically, I don't don't have to if I don't want the uh, quest rewards from killing the warden. All right. Anyway, here's Veloth. Let's blow Veloth up. Oh no! Oh, I'm sundered. What'll I do? Why is my weapon red? Not enough cunning. We got 367. Yep. See, this is why you always keep some cunning or some points in the bank. Alright. So, bunch of armor. Plus 210 armor. This doesn't sound like much until you remember that it's 210 on your boots, 210 on your gloves, 210 on your shoulders, 210 on your helmet, chest, legs, it um, doesn't go on your belt, but basically 210 on all of these. So my helmet was about 1,000, now it's 1,200. So that's like 20% increased armor on that slot. Really, really good. Um, already spent that, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and head up to the village, I guess. May as well turn this in. Get us a few more quests to uh, talk to people about. How many scrap do I have? Only three. Feta pool rank seven is pretty good. Um, got anything to sell? Just a couple of these. Yeah, that's fine. Any jewelry? Don't know why I'm checking. I'm using MI jewelry. Okay, back to the barge village. Uh, I'm gonna skip the the fabric quest. We're just going straight for the Devotion Shrine, so one of those is over here underneath the bridge. So we will be going for that. And yes, absolutely, have the good spawn. You'll love to see it. So that, that little run from the bridge underneath the bridge can be blocked off, and it's a decent trek out of your way to get to it otherwise. Uh, what is that? Messenger of War. Yeah. What is that? 20% chance when hit by melee attacks. Okay. So someone was saying way back in the first episode that Messenger of War is not good. And I never did get an answer as to why they would think that. So if anyone has any ideas, let me know. I'm, I'm really struggling to come up with a reason why you wouldn't want several thousand flat fire retaliation that you're then going to convert to acid. I've got no idea. Uh, Term of Plagues. I guess we'll pick the rest of this up too. Yeah, so if anyone has any ideas, uh, let me know. Because it's it's something that's been... I've, I've been pondering it for a while now, and I can't come up with any reason why. Unless there was, you know person was thinking perhaps it was uh, not going to be converted or something like that. I'm checking for um, treasure troves over here. One in three chance for two separate treasure troves that looks like we've got none of them. Which is, I mean, it's fine. Game doesn't owe me a treasure trove. I just, I mean, I'd like one. <laughs> Alright, let's head into the Pirate village, um, and I guess we can rescue uh, Old Love down in the basement. What's her name again? I don't know, it's not important. G 
again, still going to do totems because there's a chance that they could drop me perdition stuff. Um, also, blueprints are good to have. And this is a big pile. We may as well pick it up. Why not? Why not, I say? All right. Can I get up here? This is the question. Yes, I can. Beautiful. All right. So I'm not really interested in most of this stuff. I don't really care about the uh, the apprentice, but she's kind of right here, and it is free XP, and more importantly, uh, free reputation. Um, still no blues here. I would really like some blues. Not having blues is definitely giving me the blues. Okay, so there's going to be one more... Uh, one more Devotion Shrine in the Warden's lab. I don't think I'm even going to bother killing the Warden, because you don't need to kill him to get across the bridge. And that's just a bunch more running. So this one here, Pile of Physical Damage Retaliation. That again is going to be converted to Acid. Then we have some Shield stuff. Yeah, nice. Nice extra damage. Let's just book it through here. I don't need to go and get all of the devotion or the, uh, the books. I've already got the books in normal, so we don't need the law notes. We can skip all of those. There we go. Uh, beautiful. I've got the nice run here. If I find the shrine, am I going to do the shrine? I think I will. The totem, sorry. I think I will do the totem here. So we'll just go in here, clear the area out, see what's still chasing me when I get here. And then we will uh, do this totem, this very, very dangerous totem. Honestly, this probably, this totem probably has the highest kill count of any totem in the game. Um, but I think we're probably strong enough that it should be fine. So I'm getting, I don't have the phoenix up. I don't love. These ethereal titans and such, they're the reason why this shrine has such a high kill count. Uh, what do we get? Seal of the Blazing Inferno and the Amulet of the Eye. Blueprint for the Impurity Relic. And not a whole lot else, actually. That's fine. We'll grab all these. At least a decent chunk of it. Okay, and then we're on our way. So we will be doing the majority of the totem farming back in veteran difficulty. I know Elite does have uh, higher drop chances and drop rates and such, but Normal just has so much more of it unlocked that um, I think it's worth having the slightly lowered drop rate in exchange for being able to do more than one or two totems at a time before you have to exit the menu. Granted, I could just keep pushing through Elite here, but uh, I think I'm just going to do it on, on Veteran. Um, I do want to have all of these Devotion points, though, so we are going to be dipping into Act 2, uh, which means I think I need a Vengeful Wraith, and I don't think I bought Blueprint for that, so I may have to go back to Veteran for that. That'll be fine, though. It's not that far away from a, uh, a Rift Gate. All right, you guys all get to die. There's the last Devotion Shrine in Act 1. Um, so we should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Uh, let's go back to DC. Sell some stuff. Uh, hopefully I have six scrap now. I've got three. Okay, well, we'll have to go and debank ourselves some scrap. I guess I could just blow up some of these purple things as well, or blue things. Do that as well. Blue, um, you're blue as well. Is that one through a five? Yeah, we've got dynamite for that. Why not? Let's 
so can't dismantle yet. Never mind, I guess I'll go, um, I guess I'll go get some scrap out of the bank. Okay, so six scrap safely in hand. Um, let's head on out the back door, as it were. And how many more do I need? Just one more. Beautiful. Well, you know where that is. Uh, that actually means I don't need that Vengeful Wraith, because if we just run through here. Um, yep. Uh, all right, all right. But only because you have a fancy chest in that house. Yeah, it wasn't that fancy. There's also an exalted stash in this upcoming little cave, so I guess we can do that as well. Pretty sure we were eyeballing the rock there. Which is not particularly useful, actually. Alright, here is my final, I think, devotion shrine. Okay, only got the one Haunted Noble here this time. I usually get a couple. Hey! Empowered Perdition. That's what I like to see. Can't even use them yet. Already got three pieces. Two pieces. I guess I'll keep those. We can, we can hang on to those. Alright, so that is all of the Devotion Points we're going to get. So there's a bunch of Armor Absorption for free, which I don't think lets us... Uh, drop off a, a scaled hide just yet, but it'll be useful later on once we start getting the more fancy ones. And then we get stone form here. Hmm. I don't want to use these. But uh, what does this actually do? Reduction in poison and bleeding. All retaliation and uh, the damage absorbed, yeah. You know what? We're going back to Devil's Crossing. I'm going to respect a couple of points. So, uh, what was the previous one? It was this one. That's on Blood of Dreek. Blood of Dreek honestly should be up all the time. Should. <laughs> I'm notoriously bad at remembering stuff like that. Um, let's take that point out of there and we'll put... Do I need a buff or an attack? I need a buff. Okay. I'm just going to put one point into Salel's Witchfire. This is not good. This is not useful. However, it does let me put this on there. Um, Salel's Witchfire. Probably I want this on... Uh, Blood of Drake should, like I said, should be active all the time anyway. All right, so... So, uh, devotions are now done. 55 out of 55. This is the end of the devotions. We've got another defensive proc up here. We've got a whole bunch of shield stuff over here. We've got a circuit breaker, retaliation and stats over here, retaliation and run speed over here. These are our uh, acid and etc. shredding moves, so two different acid procs. This is for retaliation against ranged attackers. You can see that number is going up a lot. It's very nice. Phoenix Fire for damage absorption. This one up here also for damage absorption. Uh, we are going to be mighty tanky. All right, so 40 minutes into the start of the Perdition farming, we're actually going to start farming Perdition. I think I just went back into Elite. I did indeed. Let's go ahead and change that back to veteran and I want to check level 60 I think the blood grove stops at level 60 let's get the green boys out before I forget them uh, let's go ahead and check the blood grove rift here I think this place stops scaling at 60 um, looks like we got the worst spawn didn't get either of the close totems that's fine I didn't want those totems anyway. 
How about you guys? Are you going to give me the village? Is that what's going on? No, good. Okay. So these are all 62. Let's just have a look what comes out of this. So you're 63. So I'm pretty sure we can't actually farm this. I think we're going to have to farm somewhere else. Chains of Anguish, level 50. Driggs Affliction, okay. All right, new plan. It's Gloomworld time. So anyone who's been here more than about 10 minutes will know that the Gloomworld is my favorite area in the game for farming. There's a merchant at the start of the run. So if you get full on greens, you can unload them there. You have two guaranteed treasure troves and one or two totems every single run through here. So easily, easily my favorite area. Checking for a treasure trove here. The totem is in the first potential spot here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, what do we win? We win Tome of Plagues, Padala's Well, Black Ice, Brutal Decapitator. Okay, lovely jubbly. Uh, we're going to head over up this way. You didn't come back as anything I care about. Here's Pakla. This little section here um, can have... Yeah, there's some heroes running over. Which, where are we? Okay, got him. Uh, probably am going to pick up a lot of these greens. Uh, you can also, if you are so inclined, poke your head up here. This little section here can occasionally have some heroes in it. But um, I'll, I'll often skip that little part there. Check in the building for heroes and then go down if there's none in there. Down here, you could potentially have a an ancient totem over there. I haven't got one, unfortunately. I am going to kill this arcane. There he goes. No blues. I should be picking up Raymond, so I definitely should be picking those up. Treasure trove down here. This is one of two potential locations. Uh, there's also, like I said, a uh, an ancient undead totem available just there. I'm pretty sure I went through all this on the way through the first time, but just a little bit of a refresher for anyone who wants to do it this way. Avarice here is a little dangerous. Do be careful with Avarice. Um, I know she just died really quickly, but potentially can be quite dangerous. The Bloodsingers will heal her. I don't know why she didn't get healed then, but um, yeah, definitely have a little respect for her. The other location for the treasure trove could be here. It will be in one of those two places every single time without fail. So easy treasure trove. Come out the back here. How's my beast reputation? They hate me, but they're not quite up to Nemesis yet. I may actually end up getting there depending on how long this farm takes. Here's my treasure trove. You get one for outside, you get one for inside. Every single time there will be one outside and one inside. So actually I've already got my two totems. I've got, or I've got my one totem outside. I didn't get the one inside. I'm not going to run up here for another totem. So exit to main menu and we go again. Up to you if you want to do other totem locations, you absolutely can. Uh, for me, I, I just like this one. Also, I'm going to go over to the coven and run around a little bit in the hopes that next time I enter the game, it will put me in the coven instead of in, uh, it was in Homestead, which is not really where I want to be. And I'm going to do that each time I come into the game. If it doesn't put me in there, I'll I'll come back to the coven, I'll run around in circles a few times. And just so as it updates that uh, the last town I was in was the coven. Alright, not here for any of you idiots, so we'll just run past them. You can have heroes up here on the sides, um, also just here. Alright, there we go, any blues for me? Nope. Totem? Totem. 
So we can kill a lot of this stuff before it even gets to attackers, which is pretty good. Any blues? Apothecary sign. Will of fate. None of that really amazing. Uh, how are we doing for bits? Almost a million. I probably should be picking up green still. Pakla's here twice in a row. That's nice. What about you? You look like you might be corrupted. Only a split tongue. Whatever you are, you're dead. So that's nice. Uh, I did mention up there can be heroes, but I do usually uh, skip that. A lot of the time there's no heroes up there. So happy to skip that one. Alright, heading inside. Where's my totem? Not today. Okay, we've got Defender of the Pack, I think it is. Nothing down there. Okay, no dice. How about Avril? Yes, we do have Avril. So I'm kind of positioning myself up here to kill off a few of her friends. Anything that's like a blood singer or anything like that has a chance of, of healing her, which I don't want to deal with because she has a decent amount of health already. All right, here we go. Treasure trove. Bramblewood amulet and a blood of Cthon. Blood of Cthon's not horrible. Decent rare crafting material to have a few of. Uh, this particular build doesn't really need anything from any uh, any of the skeleton key dungeons, but they're nice to have anyway. 64, not really what I wanted to see, <laughs> um, but I guess it's it's fine. Every time you get a new level, you get um, um, you get more blues added to the pool. Which you don't really want. Boogden Bloom is okay. Tinker's Ingenuity is okay. Alright, we're done. Next. Unfortunately, the uh, the Blood Grove capping out at level 60 is... Um, yeah, it's not what I wanted. That is actually a really good area to farm as well. Two to three totems and a treasure trove every single time is kind of nice. This is good too, but I... I found this area a lot more often. Okay, I left a blue amulet in my inventory. Why? Because I didn't see it until after I was closing the window. But it doesn't matter, we'll sell it next time through. Checking at the top there for any heroes, there wasn't any. Treasure trove, no. Totem, yes. So we pop the totem. Throw frisbees for everybody. Uh, what do we got? Dreadguard, Shoulders of Perdition, there's three of five. We're going to get into that lovely situation where you've got only one piece remaining, and uh, and then we start getting duplicates. <laughs> Alright, three of five after 40 minutes is not too bad, especially considering most of that time was not spent uh, actually farming for it. So all told, probably 20 minutes spent actually farming for the set and we've got three out of the five pieces so pretty happy about that i'd be really happy if we can just get the entire set without duplicates that'd be amazing uh yep we've got our treasure trove here pop that open kill a few of these while we wait for all the loot to fall out and we may as well eat the blueprints too so the mark of fierce resolve and the honed conqueror two items i don't think i've ever used Alright, Avarice is home, so we can take care of her, see if she gets any healing. Yeah, something's healing her. He gets this guy. Whatever it was, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> so we're going to kill her. Wendigo Spirit, not bad, not bad. You can get a decent number of heroes in the bottom section of this area as well, so all down here. Um... A lot of them you'll you'll kind of aggro just from walking over the top, and if I do see them, I I do like to you know throw an attack at them so they'll come up and play, but I don't think it's worth running down there. Okay, do remember to click on the rotting stump for your Ugden blooms. I've uh, already got the totem, however. 
It is worth coming up here as well. There's usually a hero, maybe two, in this section. We've got Akla this time. Which is not bad. There's the stealth jacket of the blind assassin. Which is a really weird name. <laughs> Alright, we go again. So episode number one of five, farming for the empowered set. Hopefully it won't be that bad this time. I've already got three. I've got some uh, some Eldritch Essences in stock. So we should be good. Um, I probably should go and kill Grimoire a few times as well. We'll see how we go. I think... I think if I get to 70, it's probably going to be worth uh, adding in the Eldritch Essence farms as well. But hopefully I won't have to go that far. Here's my treasure trove, which I'm pretty happy to see in the first potential spot. Not so happy to see that uh, didn't drop me a blue item, but that's okay. Alright, everybody here dead. Empowered Plague Mancers, Relic. Uh, I didn't see what that blue item was, the second one. I picked it up before I could read it. Uh, it was the Cleansed Blade of Elgaloth, whoever he is. Alright, we are done on the outside, so we only have that little tunnel to do. Um, if I was actually farming this properly, I would probably reset now. Um, because coming out the other side of the tunnel is is kind of not worth it now. Unyielding of Scorching, that's not bad. So we got one level left and then we can put on three pieces of the set. The new one. Uh, it's going to be kind of up to you, I guess, at what point you want to swap your sets over. As soon as you break that five piece set, you are losing uh, plus two to all Oathkeeper skills, which is a big deal. It's not the end of the world kind of big deal, but it is it is a lot of extra everything. Would have to shuffle a few points around in order to get the fifth bounce on the shield. That alone is probably worth hanging on to your old set until you have the entire new set. Did just pick up an Eldritch Essence there, which I'm um, pretty happy about. There it is, another one there. Uh, and we're done now. So I already got the totem and the treasure trove on the outside, so going out the other end is kind of not worth the time it would take. Getting better at remembering the little green men too, so everyone can stop complaining about that in the comments. I doubt it. I, I'm pretty sure I've already gone through this particular farming run at least one time without having them active. Um, what was that ring actually? Warped of Celerity. No. Alright, and we'll eat that blueprint. Empowered Black Grimoire of Ognapesh, which is an interesting name. Silly, but interesting. Alright, Treasure Trove. Do we get Treasure Trove straight up? We do not. That's alright, we'll get this guy instead. Uh, no totem. Which is perfectly fine. Just checking for the respawn there. Um, we are getting rank ups on all of our procs, which again is quite good. Um, nothing out here worth fighting. So we can skip all that. No totem and no treasure trove means it is definitely worth popping out the other side of this little tunnel. Before we get there, however, I was just about to comment that the... Uh, treasure trove or the uh, the totem has been very conspicuously absent all right here's our treasure trove sapphire of elemental balance and the wraith stalker band for those who are wondering it looks like that let's turn the loot off for this one just so i can see what's going on Alright, what do we get? The final stop. Nice shield and the corpse desecrator. 
Um, none of this is anything I'm too interested in. We'll just sell all of that. Alright. There was a couple of heroes over there on the left side, so I'm kind of thinking we may not get any over here this time, which is fine. One less thing I have to worry about doing. I don't like healers. <laughs> Alright, we'll head down here. This little section here can have Pakla as well. It can also have, obviously, a lot of other heroes in this section. So definitely worth just poking your head over here. Here's Pakla and two more heroes. So absolutely worth coming here. Although, as it turns out, the payoff was not great. <laughs> but hey, every little bit counts. How are we doing for reputation with the base of the haters yet? getting there. Alright, open that chest. What do we got? Oh. I saw the empowered plate at the end there. Empowered at the start and plate and I got super excited. Um, we just need the totem which is going to be in the top corner all by itself. I think I'm going to reset after this guy. I don't think it's worth going. Empowered blight shard, really good for a uh, goals ritualist. Maybe not the empowered one, but the mythical one. Very good. Let's get the little green man out. And we go again. So we're pushing an hour. Uh, so we're actually up to half an hour already. Um, how are we doing for dynamite? One left. Okay. I'm actually going to have to make a quick detour. May as well go to the Steel Cap District because they have a Black Legion blacksmith there as well. So, talk to Kaelin here. Um, it's, it's dynamite, it's not cyanamite. There we go. Spelling is hard. Words are hard. Just, just everything is hard. <laughs> Alright, we go again. Can also start mixing in some other stuff as well. Um, the Astakhan Road, I think, is okay. Anything past uh, Darkvale Gate should be 120 level cap. So we should be fine. Anything past there. So the Astakhan Road, the... Um, uh, finally got one. Astakhan Road, Necropolis could be good as well. Um... Anything past there. All the stuff in Forgotten Gods. So if there's any totems you particularly like in Forgotten Gods, um, they would be good to hit. So, uh, what else could we do? We could go do the Ruins of Abid. That's, uh, that's the griffin and the two statues downstairs who can drop Eldritch Essence. There's also a totem on the first floor, I think it is. So that's a decent spot to hit as well. I guess I need that scrap. I've been blowing through scrap like it's free. Which kind of is. You just go around and pick it up off the floor. Okay, treasure trove, sharpshooter's pouch. Boo. Got purple out of that though. Okay, here we go. Damage on this is pretty good. Um, I imagine it's going to fall off a little bit. Um, did I get the treasure trove outside? I can't remember. I think I did. I think I got the treasure trove, but no totem from memory. Let's go see if Avarice is home. Avarice is home. Lovely. Avarice is unfortunately going to be evicted from life. So that sucks for her, but hey, more loot for me. More reputation with the coven. Alright, and let's head outside. Got our spiky shell following us. Spiky green shell. It's all those procs going off. Okay, I don't think there's any heroes here, so actually I don't need to kill you guys. Uh, pretty sure that, like I said, the totem I've already got. 
No, I've got the treasure trove. Totem is here. Okay, there we go. Handguards of Perdition. That's my first duplicate. So we've got two gloves. Well, we've got four items. Uh, whatever you do, don't... Damn it. Don't, um, don't re-roll anything until you have at least five pieces. Because you're going to be really upset if you re-roll these gloves, get the helmet, and then the helmet drops. Or, uh, or something like that. You, you want to make sure... Wait until one transmute will be enough to get you the full set. Um, let's go and maybe have a look at some other places that you can farm. Just to double check that I'm not making stuff up. Astakhan Valley is another one that I like to farm. So if you take a step here, you'll be able to see the totem. It's always going to be either here, up here, or just here. And you'll be able to see it from the rift gate. You just need to, you know, take a step, give it a second to load. There it is. What do we got? Ice snap. Oops, going the wrong way here. Uh, we can also get Ragglethar. Ragglethar? Is it Ragglethar? There's another one of these guys, big ones. Uh, he lives in this area. Can be okay to hunt him down too. There we go. What do we get? Three blues. None of which are... Uh, Particularly useful. That's fine, we'll pick up the rest of this as well. More loot, more bits. All good. Then we come up here to the Necropolis. Again, take one step. Open your map. Does this one pop up? No, it doesn't. Alright. That's the only one you need to check. Because all of the rest are on this one path going this way. So, should see them... Relatively soon. Oh, it is over there. Okay. I don't know why that didn't load in. Normally it's much faster than that. That's alright, we'll head over that way. If you didn't get the Exalted Stash the first time through here, it's probably worth having a look around while you're on your way to this totem. Uh, wherever it happens to have spawned for you. One seals of Binding, always good to have more of. Alright, here we go. That's it. Okay. Ismail's domination. Pet stuff. Should get around to doing a pet conjurer at some point. I just really kind of don't want to. Conjurer is one of those classes that I just think is... It's okay, but it's not particularly good at anything. Some people swear by conjurer pets, but... I think, uh... Kabbalist is just better. Unless you're trying to do Shattered Realm, like... 100 or deeper. I think the, um, the Kabbalist is straight up better. But hey, everyone gets their own opinion, right? And I'm sure there's a lot of people who are uh, screaming at their screen that, that I'm an idiot right now. But that's fine. It's just an opinion. You know what they say about opinions. <laughs> I'm not going to go into that. Alright, back out into the gloom world. So we've got three in a duplicate. So if I can get either the helmet or the uh, or the chest, then I'll be happy throwing whatever Eldritch Essences I have at those last ones. I think I have four. I think I've got two in my inventory, two in the stash. It might only be one in the stash, though. don't remember exactly. All right. Pakla home? No. Pakla's mum says he can't come out to play today. Pakla's been grounded. Don't see any stars up there. Uh, another thing I'm going to do actually is turn the quests off because they're starting to bother me. I know that's uh, a little brain worm I have. Hopefully I'm not the only one who <laughs> is annoyed by the quests when he notices them. Actually, I kind of hope I am, because I uh, probably shouldn't be wishing things like that on, on people who are at least friendly with me. Maybe not my best friends, but, you know. 
Ooh. Mage Storm of the Abomination. That'll sell for a pretty penny. Yes, yes, more meat for the stew. You guys ever actually make that stew or you just talk about it? I don't think I've ever seen an actual cook pot. Alright, what do we get? Eldritch Essence. Lovely. Fiend Flesh Greaves, also pretty good. Um, another one of those boots that has a, a bubble, a ward, a shield, whatever you want to refer to them as. So, not really something we need for this build. Uh, no heroes out here either, so you guys get to live another day. Here's my treasure trove. Uh, did I already do the totem? I don't think I did. Wrathmorn. Good. I don't think I've already done the totem, so... Well, I'm not running all the way up the top. We'll just do this little area. If there's any heroes, I'll kill them. Um, I did say we were going to keep doing the Astakhan Valley. So just take a little step. There it is, same place again. Haven't run into Ragolthar yet. Ragaroth? Is it Ragaroth? Ragolthar? I don't know. There he is. It's Ragrathar. Zealots, Gauntlets, Desert Sting. None of these are what we're looking for, which is unfortunate. What does this horn do? I see this all the time. Doombolt. Um, that's from the Salil's Malice. So this is Deadly Aim, Ring of Steel. Yeah, cold damage for Ring of Steel. Meh. It's whatever. <laughs> Alright, so Necropolis Interior. Take a little step. Check for this one. Checking, still checking. Alright, I think... I think it's not there. Yep, there we are. So there's our Forsaken Void Touch Totem. Does this do retaliation damage? No, it doesn't. When, uh, ooh, Exalted Stash. When, when it finishes the, uh, the movement skill there, um, yeah, let me see. When it stops, it does that little spiky icon. I wonder if that's supposed to be an explosion rather than looking like the, uh, the retaliation spikes. I don't know. There we go. What do we got? Brimstone, black steel gauntlets, and eh, none of this is particularly good. But hey, it's all sellable. Um, what else could we do? What could we do in... You know what? We could go hunting the puppy. So same as before, straight out the front door. Two spawn points for Grimoire here. There's one down here, one up there. There's also uh, gargoyles here on this little platform. Sometimes. Not today, of course. As soon as you say there will be something, there will not be something. <laughs> uh, here's Grimoire. So you remember before how I had to get out of the blue circle? because I would die. Well, look at my health bar now. So, I think we just got an Eldritch Essence. Pretty happy about that. And we'll go do the Ruins of a Bead. Um, totem on the bottom floor. Combined with the three shots at Eldritch Essences. Um, they also obviously drop other loot. This guy here, Ulzar, made out of loot. Not the loot I want, but you know, still loot. So if we just run through here, uh, looks like the totem's not here this time. However, Tutan Carmen here definitely is, and is made out of loot. Again, lovely stuff. I'm curious. Do we shouldn't do that? Where is it? Messenger of War. It's just. It gives you run speed, there's no max. Okay. I was kind of hoping it would have max run speed on it. But, um, it definitely does not. Alright, I think, I think we can just 
get in this thing's face and blow it up. So let's let's just do that. Down he goes. Risen Stone Guardians all dead. Um, charge to Ferocity is pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Um, let's eat some blueprints. Really, same one. <laughs> okay, exit to main menu. I'll go one more. Uh, we're already at an hour and ten, so I'll do one more run, and uh, and that'll be it for this episode. Uh, not bad for the first farming episode. We've got three pieces, technically four, but one of them's a duplicate, um, which I'm pretty happy with for the first episode. Uh, having said that, I think the first episode last time I also had, I know I had two, I might have had three, three pieces straight up, but this time, this time it's all going to be different. Probably not, let's be honest. We do have five this time, so pretty good chance that um, we can we can transmute into the last piece. Five shots, on average, you would expect to hit each of the items one time. In the real world, obviously, it doesn't work like that, but... Fingers crossed. I get a little bit lucky this time. So I just need, uh, what, the helmet and the chest. I think whichever one drops first, I'll probably... Uh, I'll probably try and transmute the, the duplicate. What do we got here? Doomforge, Marrowband, Oathbreaker's Guard. Pick all this up as well, why not? But yeah, the damage is really starting to take off. I'm pretty happy about that. We get another level or three. Um, max out Blood of Dreg. That'll be quite nice. Got a lot of uh, a lot of absorption, which probably at the end um, you might want to ditch Phoenix. Um, but until until you have the, uh, the the end game gear, as it were, uh, the extra absorption and fire retaliation and all that is pretty useful. At least in theory. But yeah, definitely happy with the damage. Happy with the tankiness as well. Um, tempted actually to take the Juggernaut off and get another uh, Eldritch Essence. Yes. Uh, get a, a plus one Oathkeeper relic that maybe has something to do with the shield. But having said that, if I do take it off, suddenly I'll very much want it. <laughs> Alright, nothing in there. Here's my treasure trove. What do you got for me? Scorcher's Archive. Alright, well. It's not what I wanted. Uh, I'm gonna go check the uh, Chaos Junction up here. Uh, yep, nothing. That's fine. So now we head over to the Astakhan Valley. I didn't notice my health bar moving at all there. Uh, I wasn't super paying attention to it, but I'm pretty sure it didn't move. The same location again. Let's see if we get Ragrathar second time. Nope. That's fine. Got a bunch of bugs here. Anchorite's headgear, the adversary, and the Oblivion relic. And not much of anything else. Alright, what is Oblivion? Chthonic stuff. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's, that's not for us. Alright, up to the Necropolis interior. Potentially our last totem. Potentially our second last totem. Okay, we've got that spawn, lovely. So again, if it's not this one, you pretty much come up this way anyway. But uh, you can see, obviously, that one from the spawn point as well. Same as this one, you would be able to see. Alright, let's pop this bad boy. Everybody dies. Get the 
the center, the Star Fury Emerald, Nocturnus, um, bunch of green stuff to sell. All right, nothing too expensive or too uh, exciting rather there. We do have Cult of Dreeg, so I should go get that one. Homestead, I don't, I won't say I don't care, but I don't think I'll need it. Um, Cult of Dreeg, let's go get that writ. I should have had this for a while now. I didn't notice when it ticked over to Honored, so it's unfortunate. A whole bunch of reputation that I don't get because I wasn't paying attention. But hey, what you gonna do, eh? Alright, Dreeg is gonna be over here. I'm not gonna do Rig's stuff. Um, he's gonna want me to go into the, the Tomb of the Magi, and I kind of just don't want to. Uh, right, let's go Vanguard of the Three. We'll see if Grimwall's home. Actually, I think I'm gonna hunt him down, so I know where he lives. We'll just go kill him. Not a bad idea to have excess Eldritch Essence. Um, at the very least, it'll be useful in Ultimate. Okay, we found Grimoire straight up. Pretty nice. Now, health is definitely moving, but I don't think it's the, uh, the blue circle on the floor. There's another Eldritch Essence. Very happy about that. So what are we up to now? Seven? I think it was seven. Seven Eldritch Essence. I need like a one in five to get the last piece. Pretty happy about that. Let's head down. Uh, please give me a totem. I mean, I like the heroes as well, but just just one totem would be nice. Nope, I get nothing. <laughs> That's fine. I'll come over here. I'll uh, I'll kill these three. And then that'll be the end of the episode, I think, so... Fingers crossed, we get something nice. I'm not going to hold my breath, though. Alright, down he goes, down he goes. Flamekeeper's Girdle, Flaming Burning Halberd. Alright, yep. No dice, unfortunately. Um, yeah. That's going to be the end of this episode for now, so thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and goodbye for now.